Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, Raj Malhotra has monthly salary of Rs. 25,500. Exclusive of HRA, he donates Rs. 20,000 to Prime Minister's Relief Fund, earning relief of 100%, deposits Rs. 5,000 in his GPF per month and pays an annual premium of Rs. 17,000 for his LIC policy. If he deposits Rs. 1,500 each month as income tax, for the first 11 months of the year, find his income tax liability for the last month of the financial year. Assume the following for calculating the income tax. So this is the income tax slab which we have to follow. Let us now move on to the solution. The first step is to find the annual income. So the annual income of the SSC is his monthly salary is rupees twenty five thousand five hundred. So the annual income would be twenty five thousand five hundred into twelve. So the annual income is rupees three lakh six thousand. Now the second step is to find the donations made by him. So deduction on donation to PM's relief fund. And that is rupees 20,000 given to us and then the next step is to find the savings made by him so deduction on savings we are given that he pays rupees 5000 per month in his GPF so it is 5000 into 12 for GPF that is 60,000 for GPF and he pays annual premium of rupees 17,000 in his LIC policy the total savings are rupees 77,000 now we have to find the taxable income by subtracting the total savings and the donations made by him from his annual income. So the taxable income is rupees 3,6,000. Minus 77,000 minus 20,000 and that is rupees 2,9,000. Now the next step is to find the total income tax. Now we see that the taxable income is rupees two lakh nine thousand. So income tax rates will be this that is rupees five thousand plus twenty percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees one lakh fifty thousand. So total income tax is rupees five thousand plus twenty percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 1,50,000 so it would be 2,9,000 minus 1,50,000 this is the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 1,50,000 this is 5,000 plus 20 by 100 into this is 59,000 
and this is 5000 plus 11,800 and that is equal to rupees 16,800. So the total income tax is 16,800. Then we have to find the education says which is 2% of the tax payable. This is 2% of the tax payable which is equal to rupees 336. So the net tax payable is equal to rupees 16,800 plus 336 and this is equal to rupees 17,136. Now we are given that he deposits rupees 1500 each month as income tax for first 11 months. And we have to find his tax liability for the last month. So the tax already paid by him during 11 months so rupees 1500 into 11 and that is equal to rupees 16,500 Therefore, the income tax liability in the last month is equal to rupees 17,000 136 minus 16,500 and that is equal to rupees 636. So his income tax liability for the last month is rupees 636. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.